I'm Trip Douglas. Welcome home, Mr. Duff. And I'm Ernie Douglas. James Bond, Secret Agent 007. And we're here to tell you... Ernie! Just a minute, Uncle Charlie. Come on, Ernie, you're gonna be late for school. We're doing a promo for Me TV and Jump. Ernie, Trip. Yes, Dad. Come here a minute, will you? We'll be down in a minute. As I was saying... <laughs> Tramp, be quiet. <laughs> Tramp? <laughs> hey, have you guys seen Robbie? Oh, hi, I'm Katie Douglas. We're my three sons. Ernie, I had to learn about women like Melissa through long, tough experience. Let me make my own mistakes. They're half the fun. And one daughter-in-law. Thanks. Now I really feel like one of the family. Watch me on me. Me TV. You think girls are just boys' gift wrap? <laughs> Weekday mornings at 7, 6 central on Me TV. It's real neat. Hello and welcome to Connect With Me here on MeTV. We're live from the showroom of Ventura TV in Fresno. I know I'm not the normal face you usually expect to see here. John Malos is feeling a little under the weather, so he's asked me to step in. My name is Randy Reed. Our guest today is Kopi Sotoropoulos, guest host, sorry, co-host of Great Day on KMPH. We'll be right back. Welcome to this edition of Connect With Me on MeTV. John Malos is your host. I'm Randy Reed. John is feeling a little bit under the weather. You may be experiencing this as well. Quite a bit of flu is racing across the country, and I think John caught a little bit of a strain of that. He's doing well, getting some rest, and we'll be back here in this chair in just a day or two. So thank you for joining us uh, today. My guest on today's program is Kopi Sotoropoulos, who is the co-host of KMP. PH TV's Great Day program, a terrific five-hour-long morning program on Channel 26. I'm sure you're a regular viewer of it. We're going to talk to Kopi about his work on Great Day. You know, Kopi also has a history in Hollywood, and how convenient and coincidental is that, given that we are just the day after the big Oscar party in Hollywood. Last night's big Oscar telecast, uh, imagine many of you watching watched it as I did. How did you think the, uh, what did you think of the awards? Uh, best picture, best actor, best actress. Were there surprises for you? I was a little bit surprised, quite honestly, that uh, Lincoln didn't walk away with the best picture. That was my personal choice, although I know that Argo was a terrific show. I saw that movie as well. What other movies were uh, up for uh, the Oscar for Best Picture? Life of Pi was another terrific movie. There were really some great movies out this year, and I was impressed that they weren't insulting our intelligence like movies sometimes do in years past. So hopefully you got out to the theater yourself and have seen some of those movies as well. You know, Kopi Sotoropoulos, as I said, has Hollywood experience. We're going to talk to him about that. We've got a reel of some of Kopi's work that we'll show you in just the next segment. So please stay with us. Also, we will take your phone calls. Our phone number, 265-4331. Give us a call. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified, ready, steam equipped, high efficiency Frigidaire Affinity Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Frigidaire laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. We're live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. You're watching Connect With Me on Me TV. We were talking a little bit about the Oscars a moment ago, and I mentioned that our guest today has some Hollywood connections. Let's take a look at a, a reel of work from today's guest, Kopi Sotoropoulos. Take a look at this. Hmm. 
Translation, the Red Apple Cafe. Mmm, on Shaw in Clovis. <sighs> Larry, where did you get all these customers? It's my family, Jack. I told you they were in town. <laughs> Enjoy dinner. Oh. Did we enjoy the dinner? Yeah! David, David, you go ahead. I, I can't go. I've been out there. I get lost. <laughs> go ahead. Come, my friend. Come, escape. Come on. Oh, he's good. He's gonna climb the gate. Hey, Kate, you're looking even better than I remember. Thank you, Aristotle. You still like him without mustard? Yeah. Hey, you two, uh, go ahead. Uh, whatever. I'm not here. Hey, come on. Thanks. We thank you for the food upon our table, but we must not forget the poor, unfortunate families who have less than we do. <laughs> suggesting, Sheriff Campbell, that we arm every citizen? Because if you are, I'm afraid we're going to have to be afraid of something else. Shooting each other. No, Senator, no. I'm not talking about everybody. Everybody should get a gun here. Well, I don't think increasing violence is the answer to increased violence. I thought this matter had been resolved. We heard a story from the captain of your yacht, and I'm here to question Lady Rowan herself. So. Here I am, cruising you, SRA, and my very good buddy, Mr. Fitzsimmons, Deus Ecclesiastes, kicks Bucket before he can hear how out of sight my English is becoming. English terrific. Uh, thank you, brother. I'm telling you, life is no bowl of cherries. And here he is, the celebrity from Hollywood and from Fresno, Kopi Sotoropoulos. Great to have you on the program, Andy, Kopi. Great to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the invitation. My Appreciate pleasure. It. So you must have had a particular interest in the Oscars last night, given that you have personal experience yeah. in Hollywood. We, absolutely. I didn't get close to the Oscars for the 10 years we were down there, but uh, it, it was a wonderful experience. And, you know, you sit back now some years later mm -hmm. after having lived there and just enjoy uh, the excitement of it, of it because it, it is such a difficult business. It's very competitive, and you know, for every role that's out there, there's one, two hundred actors that could play it, or even more. So it's very tough. And when you see people succeed, you know what they've gone through, the challenges they've had, the the, the heartbreak. Uh, you know, sometimes not enough money, uh, you know, to put food on the table, and to have them succeed and, and get, reach the pinnacle at the Oscars, you really feel for them, and you're very happy for them for their success. And I assume you watched some of the program last night, and you talked about it on your show this morning. I'm sure. Oh yes, we did. And, you know. What I, what I really enjoyed about I really enjoyed the musical numbers. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Les Mis was awesome. Uh, Shirley Bassey coming back and singing Goldfinger. Wasn't that exciting? Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. What is he, 72, 75 years and old? what a voice she still what has. What a voice, and you'd never know. She was, you know, in her 70s. Powerful. So it was exciting. The whole show I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you have quite actually a pretty uh, decent list of credits to your name when you worked in Hollywood. I see Highway to Heaven, Knight Rider, also a couple of mo major motion pictures. The Postman Always Rings Twice, American Gigolo. Right, uh, um, uh, Three's Company, oh, well, obviously the TV show, uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2, you know. Yeah. So we did movies, but most of the work was at television, the episodics, the sitcoms. So it, it was a great experience, you know, it was great. Now, did you audition for each of those roles, or were you selected from a, a list of actors that met the characteristics of the character they were trying to fill? How did that work? Well, usually the way it works, you have your agent, and uh, they'll get the breakdowns. Breakdown, it gives you a list of what's being cast that day. Uh, you know, whatever shows are being cast, TV shows, movies and so on and it'll list the characters and then with that it'll say you know describe the character so if your agent your agent obviously looks at the breaks down breakdowns every day and he looks and says it'll say the characteristics and say well you know Kopi can do that George uh, another client can do that somebody else can do that so the agent submits their photos and then the, the casting directors will look at the photos and their resume. And then from that, the casting director, obviously your agent is going to push for you. Sure. So, but, but then you got to go audition. It's not like they select you, then you got the part.
part, you have to audition. Right. So you go in and audition. You walk into the, uh, you know, the uh, the casting director's office. It's a part, you know, let's say it's a guest starring or even co-star or whatever, or even one line. There's like 50 guys that can do the same part pretty much. Hmm. You know, you have the same characteristics. So it's very competitive. You have to stand out. You have to stand out. Right. So when you go in for your audition, you really got to be on your money, man. You got to be on your mark because you get one shot. Yeah. You know, and that one shot, you do good, get you that job. You never know. That director or casting director likes your work. Something else comes up, they call you for another role. Okay. So every job Cascades is a stepping stone to, to the next one. All right. Yeah. We have a phone call. You ready to take a call? Oh, absolutely. From our absolutely. Audience? All Please. right. Let's take a listen. Here we go. Hello, caller. You're on the air with Kopi Sotaropoulos. Go ahead. Oh. Lost the call. All right. Ran, ran out of quarters. To... Ran out of quarters. Please call back. We'll be. We'd love to take your call. Now, Kopi, yeah. is there a particular experience that you remember from your Hollywood days that kind of sums up what that was like for you? A fun time that you had in Hollywood. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. The, the, I mean, they were all wonderful because when you work, when you get a chance to work in Hollywood, whether it's one day, one line, or a couple of weeks on a movie or guest star role, they're all important. But the most, I think, the most important one was when I got my Screen Actors Guild card. And uh, we were doing uh, with Tommy Lee Jones, and we were doing uh, the movie about Howard Hughes. Okay. And Tommy Lee Jones was playing Howard Hughes. And I was just an extra, you know, $18 a day and a free lunch. Can't beat that deal <laughs> after six months in Hollywood. So um, uh, the, the assistant director, Charlie Ziarco, said, Kopi, come over here. We need an extra for this scene. There was a principal, and it was shot in Pasadena at the courthouse. And the, the actress was playing Gene Peters. Uh, you know, uh, Howard Hughes's wife, and they were going to go get divorced. So they were going to the divorce proceedings to the courthouse. So there was the actress and another actor, principal, who was a reporter. So, and the assistant director said, Kopi, come on over here, and you're just a reporter, and, you know, here's a notepad, and pretend right. you're writing stuff down. So I said, great, love to do it. So what I did, I wrote some actual lines down, questions, as if I was, was going to ask questions. So we're going up the staircase to the Pasadena courthouse to go to the courtroom, mm -hmm. and then right before the scene's over, I said, gee, why are you divorcing Howard Hughes? Don't you love him anymore? Oh. The director loved the line. He was Billy Graham, not the evangelist, okay. but the director Billy Graham. And he says, but Mike, this guy, he wasn't Mike. He didn't realize it wasn't in the script. Interesting. He loved you the line. That I said line. it so, so I, I ad libbed it. I wrote down questions. And uh, because I thought of the scene, what's going on in Hollywood? And I said, well, why are you divorcing Howard Hughes? Oh, wow. Kind of sarcastically, don't you love him anymore? Uh -huh. We know it was all for the money. And he loved it. They mic'd me. And then to make a long story longer, uh, they wanted to pay me like 50 bucks and say, okay, go ahead, go ahead, because I wasn't in the Screen Actors Guild. Okay. And to be in the movie, you got to be in the SAG. you got to be right, SAG. Sure. So I said, look, I've been working for months to try to get in the Screen Actors Guild. Do what you can for me. And then I met the producer. They wrote a letter saying such and such, and I got into the Screen Actors Guild. Wow, terrific. And do you still have your card? I you pay my that? dues. <laughs> I pay my dues every six months. You never know. That's right. Your opportunity may come again. Yeah. Tommy Lee Jones, you mentioned. Of yeah. course, he was there at the Oscars he last night. Yep. He was a big hit in, in Lincoln. Yep. So how cool was that? It was Good wonderful. For you. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back in just a moment with more conversation with Kopi Sotaropoulos. Stay with us. Frida Dare. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Welcome back. This is Connect With Me on MeTV. My name is Randy Reed. I'm substituting today for John Mallows, who has caught a bit of the flu, but he'll be back here on set in just a day or two. We are live today from the uh, studios of Ventura TV. Our guest is Kopi Sotaropoulos. In the last segment, we were talking about his Hollywood career. This segment, we're going to talk a little bit more about his current career as the co-host of the KMPH Great Day program, but we have a caller on the line, so we're going to take that call right now. Hello, caller. Are you there? Welcome to Connect With Me. Yes, hello. Hi, Randy. Hi, Kopi. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Veronica. Hey, Veronica. I didn't know you were in so many movies. I had only seen you in a couple, and now I have a list I have to go check out so I could see them. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's very kind of you. Yeah, it was a wonderful 10 years of Hollywood. Um, uh, so it's an experience I, I, I wish I, I'm glad I went through because, you know, as the years go by, you say, a lot of people say, you know, if I'd only tried. 
Yeah. Sure. If I'd only tried, who knows what could have happened. And you don't want to have those regrets when you're 64 like me, <laughs> you know. And uh, I'm glad I did it. Now I can say I did it. I know what the outcome was. And then you go on with your life and, and you enjoy your life without having that kind of gnawing away at you, you know. And, and it kind of eats away and makes you a little angry sometimes. So I'm very happy with what I did and with what I'm doing now. Terrific. Yeah, so we love you every morning on Great Day. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. And you have a great day, too. Thank you. Thank you for your call, Veronica. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Well, that's terrific. Now, you are a uh, graduate of Fresno State, and you went. No, no, I actually went I to wrong? San Francisco. I went to Fresno oh, City College. Fresno City. Fresno Thank High. You. Actually, Hamilton Junior High, Fremont Elementary, okay. Fresno High, and then I went to City College and graduated from San Francisco State. Okay, yeah. and then, but you came back and started working at KMPH early in your career. Is well, that yeah, correct? Well, uh, yeah, I graduated in 1971. <laughs> That's 19, not 18. <laughs> yeah. And uh, really, it was great because I was hired uh, in October of 1971. That's the month the station went on the air. Wow. So I was one of the original employees when they were on Mooney Boulevard in Visalia. In Visalia, right. And guess what the street address was? Tell me. 2600 wow, South Mooney Boulevard. How coincidental yeah. was that? And I got hired and, uh, as a copywriter for about three months for the Christmas season, and that was it. Okay. And uh, the three months were up, and they said, you know, we want to keep you on. So they kept me on, and uh, I became production supervisor. I hosted Dialing for Dollars, oh, wrote wow. and produced commercials, and then I stayed there for uh, six years. And then it was that burning desire to go down to Hollywood. So we went to Hollywood, right. came for, stayed there for 10 years, and came back and, uh, in 1990, started working again at KMPH. Okay, we're going to talk about that sure. in just a second. We have another call on sure. the line, so let's take that call. Hi, you're on the air with Randy Reed and Kopi Sotaropoulos. Connect with me on MeTV. What's your, what's your question, caller? Hello, caller. Are you there? Hello. Oh, we've well, lost our caller. That's all right. Sorry that's that. all right. So you returned after yeah. your Hollywood days, yeah. and you started doing weather. Is that correct? Well, at, at I had a couple of years in between from when I came back until I started the weather job. Okay. I wrote and produced commercials locally, a all freelancer, right. and then had a, little, had a company with Greg Elliott and... Um, uh, uh, our buddy John called uh, Company 3 Productions. Ah. We did commercials, long form videos, and then this opportunity came up to do weather on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the 10 o'clock news. Okay. And uh, since I'd worked there before, uh, Mr. Pappas called me up and said, you know, we're making some changes. Uh, how about auditioning for this job? So mm -hmm. I auditioned, got it, and really hadn't studied weather. I don't have my degree in meteorology, it was communications. I see. But uh, they brought in a meteorologist to train me, get me going, and then reading, which is uh, very important. I tell kids, you know, read, 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 mm -hmm. because uh, if you can't read, you can't succeed. You know, we learned all about uh, as much as we could to get started. And I've been doing weather. I did weather for the 10 o'clock from 90 until uh, until about three years after we started Great Day. I did both shows. Uh -huh. So we've, we've been doing Great Day for about nine years. I did weather uh, for the 10 and co-anchored Great Day for three years together. Okay. So I do the 10, wow. come up, come back in the morning, do Great Day. But it was a lot of fun. And then uh, after that, we said, you know, I think that's enough. So we stuck to Great Day, uh, co-anchoring and doing weather. Well, that's quite a job in and of itself, five hours a day. Doing but it's fun. And we're looking at some video now, actually, uh -huh. of you on the set. Uh, well, there we are. At Great people. Day with your uh, Liz and partner. Kim. Kim and yeah. Liz, right, exactly. Five hours, that's pretty grueling, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? We have a wonderful staff. We have producers, uh, we have writers, obviously our, our, our directors uh, and, and our, our crew. Uh, they all pitch in, everybody does their job, and it really makes it a lot easier for us because they come in at midnight, like Mario comes in at midnight, one of our producers, yeah. and starts putting the show together. So without those folks, we couldn't do it. Yeah. You know, we're very team lucky. Effort. We are very lucky to have a great team uh, for a great day all right. uh, to put it together. Let's take another call. Sure. Hi, you're on the air with uh, Kopi Sotaropoulos. Tell us yeah. your name and what's your Good question. Good morning. It's Edward. Hey, Edward. Eddie. Good morning. Little, little Eddie the Armenian. Hey, inch best ass. Hey, I, I owe, I owe. Uh, two questions. Yeah. How is your throat doing? That's well, one question. Yeah. And second question is, do you ever see yourself having your own talk show? Oh, good. Two good questions. I love it. I love it, Kobe. Uh, thanks, Eddie. Okay. Um, thanks, Eddie. Uh, the, the voice is doing much better. Uh, actually, today I started doing five hours. Uh, I had the operation September the 21st. Oh. I had a growth on my vocal cord. Basically, one cord was working. And then the other one was like not working at all. The mm -hmm. other one was, you know, fluttering like it's supposed to. Right. The other one wasn't doing its job. So I, I couldn't clear it. I didn't know what the problem wow. was. So I went to an ENT and went to UCLA and had radar surgery. And uh, that was September 21st. Didn't talk for a whole month, mm -hmm. you know, okay. which made my wife really happy. She had a great time. <laughs> and then little by little, eased back into great day. And uh, today we started doing for the full five hours. Wow. So we're doing better. And as far as having my own talk show, nah, I'd run out of breath, you know. <laughs> so there are a lot more intelligent people out there. I 
I think you'd be so, a natural at it. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're terrific on the air, and obviously you have a lot of fans. And well, I'm, I'm blessed. Rightly thank you. so. Um, now, nine years on the air yeah. with Great Day, yes. and a lot of competition in the morning news space. Oh, absolutely. So what is it that Great Day does, and you and Kim and Liz do, to differentiate your program from the other options that folks have to see? Well, um, you know what we do? We're obviously involved a lot in the community. We all go out and do events and visit, uh, you know, schools and everything. And we just, our, our format's a little looser. We have more time to play. We got five hours, you know, but you still get the all the information you need. You need, uh, you know, you got the news, weather, traffic, right. all that stuff, uh, which you need, and we give that to you at a prescribed time every morning. Okay. So you know, when you know, when you hear the news start, you know what time it is, or when you hear the weather or the traffic report, Perfect. you know, you know how to pace your morning. And so, and we have Clay who does a great job out in the field with all the fun stuff and serious stuff too mm -hmm. you know when we do all our live shots so uh, we have a lot of flexibility and we just uh, have a little more fun I think we're looser and uh, all the other folks do a great job you know okay. but uh, we offer I, th I think just a bit of a different format and of course you're local show. and we're local right. yeah we don't Makes cut away we don't cut away at 7 or 8 o'clock to national time, right? we are here till 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and we, so we really pride ourselves in highlighting local organizations groups and giving them a platform to tell the community what they're doing you know uh, today we had uh, the folks that are going to have the uh, breakfast at Tiffany's a wonderful event fundraiser for uh, nonprofit groups uh, we got the MS walk coming up we'll have those folks on Perfect. so we have uh, we, we, we really concentrate keeping our show local and promoting local events awesome let's take another call sure hi you're on the air with Kobe tell us your name and what's your question Kobe yo Kobe I think you're just great on TV and thank you yeah, well, how was it working with the whole Oh, man, I'll tell you what, working with uh, Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno was awesome. Really nice guys. You realize it took about two hours to put Lou Ferrigno's makeup on on his body, the green? Hmm. Wow. Two hours. Yeah. Wow. But they didn't just dip him in a bath. No, they couldn't do that, man. <laughs> They'd have to get a heck of a big crane. That's that guy's true. one big guy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Lou Ferrigno was awesome. Bill Bixby, a very kind, giving actor. You know that you hear stories about actors being temperamental and this and that. I'll tell you what. Everybody that I worked with, I worked with David Jensen. Uh, you know, Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno, like we said, um, just a host of actors. Eddie Murphy. Um, they were wonderful. Mm -hmm. When you go to do your job, you got to be able to give and take. You know, you listen, you act, you react. They were wonderful. I never ran into anybody that was a jerk you know you hear stories of people right. but every everybody that I worked with and I got to work with Mary Tyler Moore David Jensen Michael Keaton wow. um, just a, a slew of top-notch actors and here I am a guy just coming in to do a week's worth of work or a couple of days and just another actor you know just a pebble on the beach of Hollywood mm -hmm. as I say okay. and they were wonderful giving generous performers that make you feel comfortable so you can do your job because you have a job to do that's why you're hired right. but right. Uh, they were great everybody was great terrific now we talked about all the local connections with yeah. Great Day and the work that you do promoting local organizations sure. and things. You are also on social media, I see, Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, well, How does that work for you? You know, it works great. Uh, I love it. I love the social media, and it's important to stay in touch with our, with our fans and friends. Not only here in the Valley, you get people from literally all over the world. Yes. You know, so I love it. It's wonderful. So, you know, tag me on Facebook, go on Facebook, become a friend, and, uh, you know, we'll communicate. Perfect. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more with our discussion with Kopi Sotoropoulos in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new, fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Amana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99. And this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Welcome back to Connect With Me on MeTV. I'm Randy Reed, substituting for John Mallows. He's a little bit under the weather, but he will be back in just a day or two. Our guest today is Kopi Sotoropoulos, co-host of KMPH's Great Day program. And we're talking about, boy, everything from local news to Hollywood and the Oscars and all that. Uh, in the last segment, Kobe, sure. we were talking about, we got a call from a viewer who was asking about some uh, throat surgery you had recently. You came back on the air uh, a couple of months ago. Cool. 
Correct. And you are welcomed back warmly, of course, yeah. by the folks at the station and viewers all across the valley. Let's take a look at a clip from when you returned to that program. Oh, thanks. Okay, so you've been sending emails, Facebook messages, calling the station, even stopping us on the street to ask, where in the world is Kopi? Yes, the man, the myth, the legend, Kopi himself is Stop here it. to explain Stop what's it. going you on. crazy people. Oh, you. man. <laughs> it's great to be back here. It's great. It's just wonderful. I've missed it so much, and I, I just want to say thanks for all the well wishes from the staff and, and uh, everyone out of the community. Just wonderful. Uh, emails on Facebook, everything. I, I, from the bottom of my, my heart, thank you very, very much. Where have you been? Well, um, you know, Bahamas for three weeks. <laughs> In my dreams. Uh, no, I had throat surgery. You know, before uh, I got off the air for a couple of months there, I was having trouble finishing a show. And we mm -hmm. could all say, well, that was laryngitis, a bit of a problem, cold, who knows. And then one day I thought, you know what? Maybe I should go to a doctor. Yes. Duh. So I went to an um, ENT specialist. and Ear, um, nose, and throat. Yeah, ear, nose, and throat. Uh, they left the brain portion out because there's nothing up there anyway. So we left the B part out. All right, so you look good, you sound good, everything's well health-wise. Every, yeah, everything's well health-wise. Uh, you know, just uh, we're back to five hours, and uh, starting uh, next month, I'll start doing school visits again on a limited basis uh, because it's still recuperating, but it's well enough where I can do the five hours on the show, which is important to Excellent. work with Kim and uh, the rest of the staff. Perfect. We have another call. Let's sure. take this one quickly. I think we do. Maybe we don't. Let's see. <laughs> All right, sorry, we do not have that call. Well, that's, that's okay. Fine. We'll that's just continue okay. our conversation. Yeah. Now, we talked about Facebook a little yeah. bit, and I saw on your Facebook page that every week you let uh, Facebook fans decide which crazy wild tie you're going to wear on the air. That's Is that right. correct? Tell yeah, us about that. Absolutely. You know, it, it all started in December for Christmas. I've got like, I have over 200 ties wow. and about 50 or 60 Christmas ties, you know. So I just put three up there for Christmas every day, pick a tie. And people loved it. You know, I'd get up to sometimes five, six hundred uh, thousand votes. You wow, know, really? Which is wonderful. That's great. So what we're doing now, actually, next week we're starting Pick a Tie Tuesday and we're tying it into a contest. So uh, you go to our KMPH Facebook page. All you got to do is vote. You have a chance to win uh, a prize, so just go to the Facebook page, and uh, you'll f see all all of what it's about. Mm -hmm. But we'll do that every Tuesday, and we'll post it probably on Friday. It'll be on our KMPH Facebook page through the weekend. You vote, and then out of all those people that vote, we pick a name, and then they'll be part of the contest. And you'll learn more about the contest by watching Great Day. Terrific. Yeah, now you, you, know, you have this. Uh, you uh, are known for your wild ties and your yeah. wild shirts. How did that come about? It's just a lucky thing. You know, I never <laughs> planned it. Um, um, it's amazing. Well, the red tennis shoes, what happened one day, I was looking for new shoes, and this was about 15 years ago, and I went to a local uh, sporting goods store and looking for new shoes because I wear them till only the shoelaces are left. And here's what was a red pair of tennis shoes, how they display them on a plant, you know. Sure. And I said, red, oh, these are ugly. I was going to wear these red shoes, man. Nobody would wear these. I picked them up. Nine ninety five. Well, you know, red's not a bad color, <laughs> and that's how we started with the red shoes. All right. Yeah. And the ties? How did that come about? You know, I've been collecting ties for years, okay. and my every time and people send me ties. My wife. I'm sure. As a matter of fact, my my wife found this tie over the weekend at a thrift store in the Bay Area. That's beautiful. So it's a beautiful tie. Great so, find. Yeah. Very. Yeah, yeah. You got that right. <laughs> so uh, so we you know that's how it happened. We we just collect them. Yeah. Yeah. Now you talk about school visits a lot. Yeah. I must, you must really enjoy that going out and talking to the kids and. I really do. You yeah. know. A Besides talking about the weather, you know, I basically uh, we talk about the importance of getting an education, making good choices. I have a saying I tell the kids, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Wow. You hang out with good friends, you'll have a good future. If you make the choice to do the opposite, it won't be as good. And you are responsible, personal responsibility. Don't blame me. Don't blame Randy. Don't blame your neighbor. Mm -hmm. If you make those choices, you have made the wrong choices or the right choices. And the outcome will be, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. Kobe, anything we uh, should be looking forward to? You mentioned uh, the uh, Pick a Tie Tuesday. Pick -a -tie what Tuesday. else is coming up uh, on the show in the next couple of weeks? Well, obviously, the continuing supporting local events in the mm -hmm. Valley, and of course, the big uh, MS Walk on April the 13th out of Woodward Park. Once you guys Great. to show up for that. Perfect. Outstanding. Well, thank you for being on Randy, the show this thank morning. thank you. Great seeing you again. You're welcome, and we wish John the best. Absolutely. So, thank you for joining us on this episode of Connect With Me on MeTV. I'm Randy Reed, your host uh, for today. John Mallett will be back soon, and we hope to see you again tomorrow.
Watch me on me, me TV, on Mary Tyler Moore. Meow. Do you like me? Just like me. Like me TV Fresno on Facebook. Get the latest news, interact with others, watch videos, become a fan of me. Exclusively brought to you by Ventura TV. Look at that. Isn't that a great layout? You son of a gun. This campaign is no good. No good. Darren and Larry, the original Mad Men on Bewitched.